Hey there. So we're going to just uh, enjoy a little bit of a flow-based practice. Uh, what do you need? You need your mat. You might want to have a block, although not necessary. Um, and let's just move the body and see where we go, okay? Okay, so let's come to child's pose. Extending the arms forward and let's grip the mat just a little bit as you draw the hips back behind you. Rest the forehead down on the floor or on a block. Feeling the breath and I always like to begin by just noticing what's here. Noticing what is the breath like. Noticing, did we bring any concerns with us to the mat? It's often the case. Just making room for whatever. And then gradually rise up on the hands and knees. Take your left leg back behind you. Draw navel to spine. Right arm extends. Grow some length. Release right hand and left knee and switch sides. Inhaling, exhale, hand down, knee down. So let's stoke the breath just a little bit. We'll inhale. Exhale, now move the tailbone toward the pubic bone, rounding again. Good, follow the path of the tailbone as you unfurl and then furl. Good, and one more time. Just making our way into the body and then slowly right knee down. Take your left leg back behind you. Extend the left arm upward. Grow from your hands and then from the sole of your foot all the way through the top of the head. And maybe you take the left leg off. Steadying the gaze and drawing the pelvic floor up a little bit. Just a little contraction as if you could zip right up your midline. Get used to that feeling. And then gradually releasing, slowly come down, left knee down, right leg back, right arm extends. Right leg lifts off. Notice how you grow outward and draw inward simultaneously. Inhale, exhale, slowly we come down. Good, we tuck the toes under. Send the hips up and back, moving back and forth a little bit just to wake up the back of the legs. Good, then wrap the outer edges of the shoulders out and down as you push up through your hips. Knees bent here first, long spine. Come up high onto the balls of the feet, stretch the soles. Good, and then slowly lower the heels to the extent that you can keep your spine long. Widen your shoulder blades away from one and each, each other. Is that possible? And then we inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again. And one more. We inhale, exhale, bend your knees, look past your hands, step or float forward. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, fold. The sternum moves away from pubic bone, long spine. Exhale, fold. May need to be over bent knees, belly to thighs. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Good, then holding the elbows for a moment. Feel how your feet root like tree trunk your legs and then soft like waterfall through the back. 
Good. Then inhale, we rise all the way up. Palms touch at the top. Exhale, releasing the arms beside us. Okay, pause here in mountain pose. Feeling four corners of the feet even. Notice if there's any locking in the knees. Soften just a little bit. Pelvis is neutral. Rib cage neutral. Let the shoulders soften. Extend through the fingertips and lift up out of the back of the head. Good. So you came here for a reason. So we might just pause for a moment, take the palms in prayer position, set an intention for our practice. What would we like? What are we inviting into this party? Good. So we invite in and then we let go. So let's see what happens. Take the arms up, inhale, reach up, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, we lengthen, exhale, palms down, step back. Pause and plank. Good. We know this by now. Protract the shoulder blades. Move them away from each other. Upper back rounds a little bit. Good. And then knees down. Body lowers. Point your toes back. Pull the mat. Exhale. Slowly lower. Again. Inhale. Lift up. Exhale. Lower. See if you can not get the shoulders involved here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down we come. Tuck toes under. Hips over heels. And downward facing dog. So I like to always start the first salutation that way because it gives us options. The more salutations, the more we need options. So please feel free to use the knees on the floor. We inhale, exhale, knees bend, look past the hands, step or float forward. Inhale, sternum away from pubic bone. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rising all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, releasing the arms. Pause in mountain pose once again. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back lower through or knees and torso down. Then inhale, open out. Press the feet. Exhale, back over the toes. And settle in. Good. So remember our good friend steadiness. We invite steadiness to the party. And then softness. Where we can be soft, we are soft. And where we need to apply more energy, we do that. It may not be energy, it may just be awareness. And we watch the breath. And we be in the pose. Lastly, those of us who like to fix everything, relax and be here. We inhale, Exhale, bend the knees, look past the hand, step or float forward. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, release the arms. Again, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, step or float back. Inhale. Exhale back, downward dog. Watching the breath. And inhale here. Exhale, knees bend, look past the hands, step or float forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Now pause here, take your feet hip width apart, grasp big toes please with middle and index fingers, inhale lengthen, exhale fold, take the elbows wide, the shoulders ascend like they've got helium in them, up toward the hips. Notice where you're placing the weight in your feet, try placing the weight as close to the balls as possible, 
pressing big toe mounds downward, lifting kneecaps, relaxing face. And then inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, release. Take your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, mountain. Good, bend your knees. Come into Utkatasana, chair pose. Sinking in. Place your weight in your heels. In fact, look down. See if you can spread your toes wide apart. Some days they spread. Some days they don't spread. So well. It's always curious to see what the heck happens from day to day. Then inhale, we rise. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, step or float back. Inhaling. Exhale, back. Let's take the right leg up and back. Stack the hips, please. Keep the shoulders level. Come up onto the ball of your left foot. And then right thigh forward. Foot lands between the hands. Back heel pivots. Let's open out the arms, settling into warrior two. Feel the feet root. Good. I like to root the feet, the four corners of the feet, and then pull them in toward each other for a little bit of adduction. Sinking. Gaze steady down the right fingertips. And then left hand can graze the back leg as the right arm extends. And we get lots of length along the right side. Right shin is vertical. Let's not take the knee further than that. Inhaling and then elbow rests lightly down on the thigh. Take the left arm over the ear and turn the upper arm bone down and draw the ribs in toward the hips and settle in. Settle in is another way of saying gather length along the left side. Notice right shoulder, it will want to encroach, draw it back down as if this right elbow wasn't doing anything. And we inhale, rise back up, reverse. Exhale, look down, take your right hand to pinky toe side of right foot, left leg lifts off. And we come into half moon, drawing the left arm up. If you have a block, it can be nice to place it under the right hand. Good, lift up and out of the left shoulder. Some of you might play with taking the right hand off. We inhale here, exhale, right knee bends, leg draws back, bring the foot in just slightly, then extend the arms, exhale, both legs straight this time, triangle pose, right hand to the floor. Good turn, revolve the rib cage. I like to take my ribs, draw them over to the side, send the arm up, steady breath, steady gaze. If you feel into the whole body, you can feel that yeah, there's, there's a sense of everything is participating in there. Good. Now feel your feet root. Inhale, let's rise up. And let's turn pivot. Take your hands to your hips. Feet are parallel with each other. We inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward, out and down. Take your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, slide the hands through, fold forward. Take the top of the head toward the floor. Root your feet. Bend your knees slightly so you can get access to your pelvis. Lift it up. How much relaxation can go into your face? So this is nice too. You can feel how the legs are like a rock or a tree trunk, two tree trunks. And the upper body is like water. Good. 
Good, then inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, hands to the front of the mat. Well, I should say the back of the mat. So we've come to the left side now. Take the left leg back behind you, lower through. Inhale, open out, exhale back over the toes. Good, pause, get steady. Notice if the mind drifts. Good. Notice if we've fallen into any habits in our dog. Just wake it up. Left leg extends. Stacking the hips. Come up onto the ball of the foot. Inhale. Exhale. Thigh to rib cage. Foot lands between the hands. Back heel pivots and we open. Good. You might check. Check your pelvis. It's level. Zip right up the midline. Extend the arms. Reach through the arms. Straighten the elbows. Relax what you can. This is the art of complete engagement without, <laughs> without killing ourselves, okay? We inhale. Exhale, right hand lowers. Left arm extends. Grow some space along the left side. Inhale, exhale. Now the elbow lands lightly and we sweep the right arm under and up. Good. Remember this rotation, we're pulling down just slightly. Root back into your right foot a deeply and then begin to grow it. Remember lower ribs. Lower ribs draw down toward the hips and the hips draw up toward the lower ribs. So we stay tubular even though we're in this strange shape. And inhale, reach up. And exhale, here we go. We're going to take the left hand forward, come to the outside pinky toe, lift the right leg off as if we're drawing open a bow. Extend, arm up, leg out. So it's easy to overshoot this. Draw navel to spine. Good. As if you were being lifted from above, maybe left hand comes off the ground. Good. Oh, just feel external rotation happening of the top leg, stacking the hips. Play with that. Inhale, exhale, bend left knee, right foot lands, slowly rise. Inhale, send the arms out. Exhale, left hand comes lightly to ankle or foot. Good, so we release any attachment where we'd like that hand to go. Press into right foot, press into left foot, and then begin to revolve the rib cage just a little bit. Freeing the shoulders. If it bothers your gaze, your head, have your gaze up, look down. Good, and then feel your feet root as you inhale, be pulled from above. Exhale, take the arms wide. Hands come to hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward, grasping toes with middle and index fingers. Inhale, exhale. And as you fold, the shoulders move away from the ears. Good. Remember the trick with bending your knees. Push the feet into the ground. Lift the pelvis up. Good. Rock and water. Stability and softness. Now we inhale, lengthen, exhale, take your hands back to the front of your mat, right leg back, take a vinyasa or meet in downward dog. Good. What I suggest is inhale, exhale. If you didn't have a big meal today, exhale the breath completely, then draw navel to spine, keeping the breath out. Then inhale, exhale again, all the way out. Keep the breath out, navel to spine. And relax one more time, inhale, exhale.
Good, soften. And breathe. Now let's take the right leg up and back, stack the hips, bend the knee this time, shoulders are level. And come up onto the ball of the foot. If you wish to play with bringing the right foot around for three-pointed wheel, go ahead. Take the left leg long, open out, or stay where you are. Inhale, exhale, lightly land hands, sweep right leg up and back. And right foot to the outside of the left hand. Good, feel the sole of the left foot press. Grow whole left side. Inhale, exhale, the left hand lands. We sweep the right leg up and back, stacking. And we bring the right foot forward between the hands, back heel pivots. We open out again, warrior two. And then reverse. And then side angle. And then half moon. It's nice to revisit postures in a series. See what happens the second time. Now when we lower the left foot, we'll change it out a little bit, slowly rise. Turn, pivot your hips so they face forward. Care not to lock the knees, okay? Take your hands to your hips first. Check to be sure your pelvis is level. Then hands back behind elbows or palms in prayer position. Good. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, as you fold forward, find your left kidney and draw it toward your right knee as you move toward your right pinky toe. Left kidney to inner right knee. Can you relax the head and the neck? And then release your hands to the ground. So I'll pivot my left heel back slightly. The left hand comes to the floor under your shoulder or to the outside of your right foot. And then we'll begin to draw the bow open this way as we turn the rib cage. Think left kidney to right knee again as you begin your revolution. Shoulders away from the ears, gaze down at the floor or up at the hand. And inhale, exhale, looking down. Let's take the hands to the floor in front of us. Take the back leg off, extend it up as high as it's willing to go today. Go ahead, stack the hips first. If you have SI joint issues, and you know if you have them, <laughs> usually, stay here. If you feel pretty confident about your lower back, you can go ahead and draw your left hip downward so that the hips are parallel, and then stack the hips again. And we'll do that several times. Just back and forth. Feel the difference between level hips and stacked hips. Okay, one more time, stack the hips please, inhale. Exhale, now tuck left knee behind right ankle and slowly make your way down. So either the foot is on the outside of the thigh or the inside of the shin, depending on your body. Good, and then begin, take your right hand back, send your left arm up, inhale, exhale, cross or hold as you begin to play with letting the right sit bone move back behind you, lengthening the spine, softening the shoulders, growing from pubic bone to sternum, and be sure that your neck is happy
A couple more breaths. Imagining that your spleen on the left is moving toward your liver on the right. Press the sole of the right foot into the ground. Then look forward. Keep the twist moving to the right for a moment. Notice the difference now as the gaze goes to the left and the rest of the body goes to the right. From here, lift your right foot, grasp the outside of the foot, push forward, take the right arm back behind you. Free the shoulders. Keep the leg lower than you'd think. Inhale, exhale. Now bend the right knee, place the knee right over. So knee on knee, and then fold forward over your legs. If this doesn't work, lie back, take figure four with the right ankle in front of the left thigh. Sinking. Just allowing it all to drop downward. Good. Hands under shoulders. Inhale. Rise up. Well, is that good for you? I hope so. Take your right foot to the ground now. Fingertips light. Can you extend all the way back up in that standing split? And for a moment, drop your chest. Maybe take one hand around an ankle. Maybe both hands around an ankle as you extend the left leg up. Then the hands land and the left foot searches for the floor and we turn pivot. So here we are again with the feet parallel. This time, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back into a fist. Draw the palms together if you can. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, we fold forward. Good, shoulder blades draw together. As if, as if you could suck energy from the ground through your feet. Lift the kneecaps. Remember the trick. <laughs> Bend the knees a little bit. Draw the pelvis up. Retract your shoulder blades. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Release your hands. Now walk the hands over to the left. Take your left leg back behind you. Lower through or knees and torso down. Inhale, we open. Exhale, back over the toes. Downward facing dog. And steady. Present. Soft where you can be soft, especially the face. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting that Westerners created this really fast moving, well, we evolved this very fast moving yoga when the whole game is to be still. So as we're moving from place to place internally, there's something inside that is still completely attentive. Now we take the left leg up and back, stack the hips, come up onto the ball of the foot, stretch upward. If you wish, bend the knee. If you wish, foot to the floor. Straighten the right leg, open out, three pointed. Draw the breath all along the front of the body. Take the shoulder blades back toward the hips. Inhale, exhale, the left hand slowly lands, sweep left leg up, inhale, exhale, left foot to outside of right hand, and we open, soles down. Good, I always call this three-pointed star, like you want to feel that star shape. Inhale, exhale, the right hand slowly lowers, so we sweep the left leg up and back. Thigh to rib cage, 
foot lands lightly, right heel pivots. And here we go, warrior two, set. What is still? Good, right hand extends downward, left arm extends upward. Growing. Inhale, exhale, the elbow lands lightly, the right arm extends over, side angle, whole body is awake, check your back leg. Good, then inhale, reach up, reverse, exhale, look forward, half moon, left hand out in front of you, right leg comes off. Stacking the hips, opening out. Care not to lock the joints. Maybe a hand comes up toward the heart. When you inhale, exhale, lower slowly. Bring the right foot in this time. Gradually rise up, square your hips, settle your feet. Good, grasp your elbows or palms in prayer position. Right up the back, inhale, lengthening. Exhale, find your right kidney, head toward your left knee. What is still now? Good, then slowly inhale, come back up, release. Take your left hand to your sacrum, right arm extends, inhale, exhale, let's cross. Right hand either comes underneath the shoulder or outside the left foot. Find your feet, then find right kidney. Move right kidney toward left knee. Left arm might extend if the shoulders are stacked. Inhale, exhale, left hand back to sacrum, but take both hands to the floor, sweep the right leg up, stack the hips. Now that right foot is hunting for the ceiling. Remember this SI joint situation. If you're comfortable taking hips level, notice it's not as satisfying, likely. <laughs> That's okay, and then stack again. And back, and up, and back. And one more time, inhale, go looking, and then exhale, draw the knee behind the ankle, come down to a seat with the foot on the outside of the thigh or the inside of the shin, your choice. You could take hold of the leg first as you take your left hand back. Go to root the sit bones. Inhale, exhale, we cross or hold. And then find your right kidney now and move it toward left knee. Gathering length along the spine. Let your shoulders release and grow from the top of the back of the head. Now pause here as the body moves to the left, look to the right. So both are happening at the same time, this twist. Inhale, exhale. Okay, let's take the left knee now over the right knee. Cow face, or you're lying back for figure four, folding forward, sinking in, and playing with allowing the body to come to stillness.
Allowing the mind to get quiet. Slowly we rise. All right, from here now, we take the left foot back onto the ground. Slowly find your way back up. Sweep the leg up. Draw the chest toward the shin. And then gradually lower right leg. And come back from whence we came. We'll come right all the way up. Take your hands to your hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, keep the hands on the hips as you fold forward. Draw the top of the head toward the floor. Shoulder blades ascend. Watching the breath. Good. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your left hand underneath your left shoulder and sweep your left leg through. Did you catch that? We come back down now with both legs out in front of us. Widen the toes. Start with the knees bent so that the spine is long. Keep the spine long. And if the legs can extend with a long spine, go ahead and do that. But if the spine begins to round, keep your knees bent. Good lengthening from the sit bones through the crown of the head. Shoulders draw down. Good, then bend both knees, inhale, exhale, folding forward over the legs, grasp your big toes, inhale, lift into the chest, exhale, folding forward. Rooting into the sit bones. Keeping your feet flexed. And then slowly we inhale, come back up. Now let's take the left hand to the floor again. Bend your right knee, right foot down. Lift left leg up. Sweep it through. Right hand down. Right leg through. Good. So back to Dandasana, staff pose. the mountain pose of seated poses. That same level and quality of attention. Then bend knees just a little bit. Place the torso over the thighs, grasp big toes, inhale, exhale, fold forward, and straighten the legs if you can keep the belly and the thighs connected. And then gradually inhale, rise up. Exhale, pause. Okay, we'll take the right leg now. Let's extend wide on the mat so the heels are down and the feet are flexed. We're in Upavishta Konasana here. Feel the sit bones root as you begin to fold forward. Keep the sit bones rooting downward. And then we take our sweet time. When you look over at your feet, the toes still turn up. And it's as if we're pinning the outer thighs downward. As we make our way in.
And if you're wondering about rounded spine or long spine, I tend to go long spine here. And then we find our way back up. Good, let's bring left knee forward, right leg crosses. We'll twist again to the right, take left arm around, press the sole of the right foot into the ground, lengthen the spine. And just watch the posture grow on its own. Some of these poses need patience, they need time. See if you can find your spleen on the left and move it toward your liver on the right. And then slowly release that. Now, here's what we'll do. We'll take this right leg, draw the shin up into the chest, keep your right foot flexed. So either we're working here, we might bring the foot to the elbow crease, drawing the shin in close. Sit bones root, and you can feel the pelvic floor lifts up just a little bit because that creates a little more length in the spine. And if you wish to go on, the left shin out in front of us is really parallel with the side of the mat, isn't it? We'll take this right ankle bone here and we'll place it down on the knee. So the shins are aligned one over the other. I can guarantee that it isn't the most pleasant sensation. You may find that you've got a really high floating knee here, in which case you might be better off doing this work or lying back for figure four. Now both sit bones root, and here we go with a long spine again, folding in and meeting what we find on the way with presence and tenderness. One of the interesting challenges that I'm facing now is that I've been practicing for a long time, and you might have been too. And I have memories that come up of times when I just got into a posture, absolutely no problem at all. Uh, my body is getting older. And in that process, I have to recalibrate and meet myself where I am today. And if you've had injuries, you may have one right now, you've got that same, the memory of what it was like. And then, oh no, check it out. This is where I am today. That's, that's the honest approach to asana and to ourselves, you know. Okay, so we slowly inhale, come up. And we'll make this fancy. We'll take the right knee over the left knee again. Take the hands to the floor, tuck the toes under, and we'll come all the way around. It's called doing the hokey pokey. We'll like take the sole of the left foot. Good. And then begin to twist. Now we're moving liver towards spleen. Inhale. Exhale, we cross. Good. So you may find, too, that left, right side are quite different. And can we come, once we've arrived in the posture, can we really arrive by just allowing things to still, watching natural opening, looking for length, without grasping for it, let it happen. Inhale, exhale, look forward, then unwind that. Let's take the shin, close up. This foot's flexed. I feel that it does protect the knee. Some people say now, oh, you can just let this go and it's fine for the knee. 
but if there's a chance to protect something, then I tend to do it. So shin up high. Some of us might find that moving this back and forth a little hip flossing is helpful. You just watch as the sensations present themselves, and here we are, allowing them to open. And we might take right shin so that it's parallel with the mat, and then find outer ankle bone, set it down. Good. Then pelvic floor lifts, navel to spine. Let's see how much length can we gather Along the back of the spine, consider all the way through the top of the head as we slowly come down. You may not come down very far at all. Remember figure four if you need it. Yeah, that's one of the beauties of this practice is that every single day is really a new experience if we're paying attention. You notice the difference here between moving the pubic bone toward the coccyx just slightly. You can feel that piriformis likely is talking. Yeah. And then we slowly inhale, rise back up. Okay, so let's take the legs long. They come to the front of a mat, but the knees are bent. So we'll work in stages here. See first if you can take the arms under the legs. So we've been playing with this in some of my other videos where the pubic bone moves toward the coccyx and then back and forth a little bit. Feel that action there. and. If it's possible, you can continue drawing the legs down. You might also lift your one sit bone off, roll the arm internally, and then come to the other side, rolling the arm. And then reaching back, seeing what's back there. Maybe there's hands. You might have a strap nearby. And then folding forward, drawing the forehead to the floor, if that's available. And if it's not, do we care? No, we do not care. And we fold forward. And we watch what is willing to open, open. Some of us might walk the feet in. It'd be so nice to have an assistant right now taking one foot on top of the other and hugging in. Okay, so releasing now. How was that for you? <laughs> That's a big posture, you know. I don't think it's, it, it takes some time to work our way into it. It's so awkward. So shall we just play with one more ridiculous thing before we finish the series? Let's come up. And lift the hips up, walk the arms back so the palms come down. If your palms don't come to the floor, you need blocks under your hands. I'll make a tutorial special for this posture. We'll sit down on our arms. You see I've projected my sternum forward, my hands, fingers are spread wide. First step would be to cross the ankles, lengthen the spine here, and pelvic floor lifts. That pelvic floor lift is actually rather essential. Then look forward a lot and send the legs out in front of you. You know, feel the fingers grip the floor. Pelvic floor lifts. And then down we come. Okay, let's just roll the wrist for a moment. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Back the other way. Good, and while we have the soles of the feet together, knees wide, let's fold forward. 
in Baddha Konasana, some of us find that the knees are so high, it's really difficult to keep the spine long. If you find that's the case, elevating the hips is great. Place, place a blanket underneath, probably several blankets or a bolster. And then we spend a little time. Patience. They say it's a virtue, you know. It's built into our practice as well. Time-tested, universal quality. Making room for ourselves. Making room for what is. Usually when we get into some sort of trouble, it's because we want things to be different than they are. Hands slide under shoulders. Let's inhale, rise up. Take our sweet time. Coming back down. Good, so we'll take the knees into the chest, roll the legs to the left. And we'll be tricky about this. So we could stay here. Move your right shoulder blade toward your left. Straighten the right leg and grasp the outside of the foot if that's available to you, or the calf. And if you want to go further, you move the left knee. Just move the whole left leg back, and maybe the right hand can find the foot. Upper back on the ground. Right sit bone pulls away from the rib cage, and we can turn the gaze We unwind, coming back up. Good. Take the legs now over to the right. Maybe left leg extends. Maybe right leg moves. Maybe we can find the foot. Sometimes it's nice to wrap a strap. And then... We lengthen the left hip, dropping the left shoulder. Good, and then we unwind. Coming down into Shavasana. Just letting the bones settle. Earth, earth element in the, the bones are very earth, yeah. They make their way toward the earth. The water element in the body tends to coalesce downward toward the back body. Notice where you can feel the fire element, good place to look, is in the solar plexus area, belly, digestive fire, and the warmth of the heart. the air element in the breath. And space, feel that at its core, beneath it all, everything in here comes down to space if we put it under a microscope. Have space meet space. What does that mean? Relax the outer surface of your body.
feeling the space in you and feeling the space around you. So feeling the space inside the body, we think about it, you know, put all of these cells under a microscope and what do we get? We get a whole lot of space. Feeling the space inside us and the space outside the body. And in our final few moments here, we might reflect back to the intention or motivation that we had at the beginning of our practice. What happened? Let's slowly, one knee at a time, draw the legs into the chest, give yourself a hug. Send one arm up, rolling to the side, pausing. And extending our motivation or intention to others now. May we all be happy. May we all be healthy. And may we all be at peace. Slowly we find our way up to a seat. Just pause for a moment in our comfortable seat with the spine long. Remembering so many good friends in this practice, but stillness, silence. And then if we were to draw the eyes, keeping them closed up to the top of the head, just notice that What's that like? Spaciousness, stillness, silence, spaciousness. Let's take them with us. Drawing the palms together, closing with one ohm. We inhale, exhale, inhale. Oh. Hands come to the forehead, right thought, may we be steady and present and joyful. The hands come to the mouth, right speech, may our words improve upon the silence. Our hands come to our heart, right action, may we be the change that we wish to see. Namaste.